In this video, I'm going to show you how you can back up the vCenter server database running on Microsoft SQL or SQL Express server. Backing up your vCenter server database should be performed as a regular maintenance task uh, because it is very crucial in disaster recovery and troubleshooting scenarios. It is also very important to back up the vCenter server database before you upgrade your vCenter server or migrate it to a new machine. So it is at most important to create a reliable backup of this database at least once a day. In this video we are not going to talk about complete backup plan of vCenter server which also includes backing up the operating system, SSL certificates and other things. Instead, we are just going to see how we can back up the vCenter server database only and also update manager database if it exists. I personally recommend a full recovery model for the vCenter and, and the uh, update manager database. One of the advantage is that it is possible to restore the database to any point in time, at least if you back up the transaction logs frequently. One note when using this recovery model is that you need to back up the transaction log files often so they won't grow and grow until it completely fills the hard drive. So a good database maintenance plan is crucial for a healthy database and a reliable backup. So to perform the backup you need to have Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio Express installed on your server. To download Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio Express you can use this URLs from Microsoft. So you have links for both SQL 2005 and SQL 2008 R2. Okay, I'm going to install Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio Express using my SQL Server 2012 installation media. So let's go ahead and back up the vCenter Server database. Alright, I've already inserted the SQL Server 2012 installation media. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to click on install or run program from your media. Now on the SQL Server installation center screen, I'm going to click on installation and then click on new SQL Server standalone installation or add features to an existing installation. Okay, so the setup screen opens up and it'll check for the prerequisites to continue the setup. So you can see that the setup support rules did not find any problem, so I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to uncheck Include SQL Server Product Updates and click Next. Again, the setup support rules ran and it did not find any problems, so I'm going to click Next. I'm going to specify the free edition and click Next. I'll click I accept the license terms and click Next. In the setup role screen, I'll select SQL Server Feature Installation and I'll click Next. In the feature selection screen, I'll only select Management Tools Basic, which will also select Management Tools Complete. We'll leave the default selections for shared feature directories and click Next. Now the setup ran some installation rules to check if the installation process will be blocked. In my case everything looks ok so I'm going to click next. We have a green check for disk requirements which is good so I'm going to click next. I'll simply click next on error reporting screen. 
now the setup will now the setup will run some installation configuration rules to check if the installation process will be blocked in my case everything looks okay so I'm going to click next and here is the summary of what I am installing so it looks good for me and I'll click install alright you can see that the installation is in progress Okay, the SQL Server Management Studio Express has been successfully installed. So I'm going to click on close to close the wizard. And we can close this. Alright, now we are ready to start the backup of the vCenter Server database. So to do that, we'll go into Start menu and right click and click on All Apps. Okay, so we are going to open up. SQL Server Management Studio. So for server type, we'll select database engine. For server name, it would be the vCenter server name. And the authentication is Windows Authentication. So I'm going to click on Connect. Now I'm going to expand databases and look for the vCenter server database. Usually it'll be named as VIM underscore vcdb unless you renamed it during the initial creation so I'm going to right click on my vCenter server database and go into tasks and I'll click on backup in the backup database window I'm going to leave the default selection for the destination I'm going to remove the default destination and add a secure destination so for now I'm going to save this on the desktop and I'll name this as vCenter server database December 12 December 12 2013 and I'm going to click on OK and click OK again and once I click OK, it's going to take the backup. So it's very important to backup this file to a safe location during maintenance or upgrades. OK, you can see that the backup of the database completed successfully. So you need to ensure to perform this backup before performing any operation on vCenter server as it holds current and historical data okay so this is how you are going to back up the vcenter server database thanks for watching the video for more videos please subscribe to my channel